Mile and a half for our last, just over a lap of the track, and they're off and racing. A little bit messy for Sherwell leaving the stalls, just got slightly squeezed up on the inside. They race away for the Racing TV Classified Stakes over the distance of a mile and three furlongs. And it's Bella Colorossa who leads early on in the purple and orange colours. The outside big Jimbo is improving in the yellow to come and get a view of the front. In behind them is Savoy Brown, the dark blue and pink, the pink cap, the first colours of Canis Bay bloodstock. On the inside is the maiden Stranger Things, the light blue cap, white sleeves. Then Persian Wolf in the green, pink and purple silks. To that one's outside is Moon Over the Sea in the orange as they make the run down the back straight. Looking towards the back trio, Sherwell, that light beige jacket, light blue sleeves, is ahead of Acadian City, who's got pink sleeves and a blue cap. And the back marker being held up is Toy Box, maroon jacket, green sleeves and a white cap for that one. Heading down the far side then, and the leader is Bella Colorossa, the mare. She's out in front by one length to Big Jimbo in second in the yellow for Reese Clutterbuck. Racing in behind them is Stranger Things, a light blue cap for Luke Morris in third. Fourth place for Savoy Brown, the pink cap on the outside. And then the headgear of Persian Wolf on the inside with the noseband is ahead of Moon Over the Sea in the orange silks. And then Sherwell, who's back on the inner, the white-faced Acadian City is caught deeper out and the back marker remains Toy Box, the mare, jockey with the white cap as they continue their journey then towards the turn, right-handed to the side of the course in the final half mile. Still Bella Colorossa, she leads by a neck, although Big Jimbo is now getting appreciably closer on the outside. Back on the inner is Stranger Things. One out, one back is Savoy Brown. Niggled along then is Persian Wolf on the inside of Moon Over the Sea, who's improving. Also nudged along is Acadian City on the outside of Sherwell. And last of all is Toy Box, turning for home inside the three. It's still Bella Colorossa with the fractional advantage to Big Jimbo the Yellow. Stranger Things going towards the far side. And then comes Savoy Brown, Moon Over the Sea. Every chance is a bit wider out as they head inside the two. The Yellow of Big Jimbo now has joined Bella Colorossa. Here comes Savoy Brown, three wider. Moon Over the Sea is going home strongly too. Out very wide for Ross Orion and it's Moon Over the Sea who's picked up best and now starts to strike clear inside the final half furlong and it's Moon Over the Sea who's bounding clear to win for Ross Orion and Tony Carroll. Second big Jimbo, third will be Stranger Things, tight fourth between Savoy Brown and the running on Sherwell. Well, he didn't get the brakes last time at Southall but he very much did today and Moon Over the Sea is a winner once again. Once again in this grade as well. And a really nice performance in the bargain as well. Big Jimbo's had every chance from his position, rushed up under Reese Clutterbuck to negate that wider draw. Ultimately, he's just found it too much to, to be a target for Moon Over the Sea, who's gone readily clear um, under Ross Orion. And Stranger Things has had no excuses from a perfect position just in behind as well. If she was good enough, she, uh, she would have probably gone on, but that's, we can now take that... Uh, for this five-year-old mare to naught from 15. But Moon Over the Sea, a proven winner in this kind of grade. It, it all kind of stacked up quite nicely. I think Big Jimbo engaging Bella Colorossa just as they were starting uh, to, to go around the turn has, has ultimately turned this into a bit more of a test, which I think has suited those uh, who are closing in behind. And, uh, and it's really, really suited uh, Moon Over the Sea, who, as we say, is, is very capable in this kind of grade. And uh, despite having the widest draw of all time, is a winner once again uh, for Tony Carroll and Ross Orion in the plate. Indeed, thanks very much for your hard work tonight, Anthony. Moon over the sea wins. We saw a nice still of an orange moon over Kempton a little <laughs> bit earlier, and Moon over the sea wins in orange silks. So a nice way to end the card there. Coming from a wide draw here, Dave. Yeah, well done, Tom. You, you fancied this one. I wish I'd said it. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it was a it was a weak race. This um, we've got. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't want to try and make build my house on track positions and stuff like this because often we're just dealing with generally out of form horses mm -hmm. who, you know, I'd I'd like to think that Bella Colorossa. In fact, it did well. It, the, if we look at the result, the winner has, has raced in six. The, sorry, the winner has raced in second. The I beg your pardon. The winner has raced in six. The second has raced in second throughout. The third has been prominent too. So, arguably, Moon over the sea has done well to win. Um, Bella Colorossa, I, I don't think, has run up to 
um, her form of last time out. Um, Big Jimbo, just that. Um, probably that that penalty has done for him. I would have thought, really. Mm. And, you know, you, you you were apt to forgive Moon over the sea for that uh, the low par run at Southall last time, and anyone who followed you in has has uh, received a decent dividend. Well, oh, I, I can't really take much credit for that. To be honest, it was just a kind of casual pick. But yeah, Moon of the Sea at this point. Probably in a pretty decent position, I would say, Steve, because they're not re they've not crawled along, have they? No, they've got a reasonable pace, and he's, he's travelled well, and he's ensured he's got a completely clear run up the straight, which is never a bad thing. And he's, I think he's a decisive winner. I think Pink Tubo probably run as well as he ran last time. He just couldn't give the weight away, but he's run well. So the horse I thought was run a bit better. For all three runs before today have been at a mile. Steps up to one mile three today. That's Churwell, mm. who's um, not been given an easy time, but third last turning for home, and you'll see it finishes on the heels in sort of fifth place. And on this evidence, a mile, a mile and a half plus is going to be what the horse wants. But in low, low grade, but I could see, I thought he'd finish off the race, ignoring the winner, just about as well as anything else. And he hasn't really been showing much in his mile range. So I think the, the longer trip would, is the most obvious reason for why that happened. He's definitely shown more life there, hasn't he? he? Has. Which is good to see. Uh, Big Jimbo, I think there's definitely another win in him in this kind of yeah. race yeah. at some stage. I mean, he's, he's travelled very well into the contest. Not quite quick enough in the same style as the winner, but Dave, there's, there's definite hope that he'll land another one of these. Yeah, I mean, spin. you know, Big Jimbo, I think, with the possible exception of Charwell, who's who's um, taken a step forward, Big Jimbo, yet taking horses from classified stakes is the way to Carey Street, I'm sure. But um, he's a horse who is he's emerged from that layoff reliable. You would think that he can run to his mark out in handicaps rather than in classified stakes and yeah I, I would have thought that you know again he he's he's a horse who's had to carry a penalty in in this race where you've got um a narrow band of horses so you know he's he's probably been disadvantaged by the uh, by the conditions here he's rated 47 and he's he's had to carry nine stone eight as opposed to nine stone three which is mm. the the um which the others have carried so, um, yeah, I'd have thought that he would be the reliable one. Probably, if, if he went back into lowly handicaps, then he might he might have another win in him. The winner, though, is Moon of the Sea, thirteen to two. Russell Ryan and Tony Carroll went on to DJ Awesome Man. Second was Big Jim.